Well, hey everybody, uh, I am bringing you another spicy product review today. I've got two things to uh, try. Um, there may be some pausing during recording, because um, there's a lot of activity going on in my neighborhood right now. You can probably hear some external sounds. Um, but hopefully I can get through this whole thing in one take without too much distraction. Um, so before I get to the sauce, notice these out of Walgreens. Hot mustard Doritos. Seems a little bit strange, but there are other Doritos flavors that I thought seemed strange when I saw them, and then I tried them, and somehow it worked. They don't always work. There have been Dorito flavors that don't work, but... You know, for example, the barbecue Doritos, they're some of the best that there are. Nothing will ever top Salsa Verde, I don't think. But, um, but yeah, you wouldn't expect barbecue flavored corn chips to work, but Doritos figured it out and they're delicious. The uh, Top Tio Doritos, so my top two Doritos are Salsa Verde and Top Tio. Love those two. Um, I don't know what my third would be. I always like the taco ones, but they're not like top five. But anyways, this one was kind of weird looking, so let's try it out. And you know, it ties into my, you know, spicy food thing. Uh, I do a little mini series with my son called the Nasal Pain Index, and uh, sometimes, well, we it's a series of three videos at this point, and occasionally we'll try like a hot mustard. So we did a ghost pepper mustard, and then we did um, hot Chinese mustard. So I don't know, what's this going to taste like? Is this just going to be like mustard with spice, or is it actually going to have that like sharp kind of horseradishy, horseradishy uh, Chinese mustard flavor? Let's see. Smell like much. Hmm. No, it's good. Wow. Wow, that's excellent. Those are addictive. I can just sit here for the next five minutes and just down this whole bag. Well, I can't do that because I'm kind of on a diet. Because it wouldn't make good content. Wow. Yeah, those are really good. It's very authentic. It tastes like hot Chinese mustard. It tastes like what you would eat with, um, you know, the, um, the Chinese barbecue pork that you get. It's like red colored um, slab of like nicely cooked pork, and then you like slice it and serve it with a hot Chinese mustard. They got it right. That's exactly what it tastes like. Now, is it spicy? No. Oh. It's really zesty, but I love it. Man, I gotta give that at least an eight. Those are really, really good. Wow. They took a gamble and they won. Those are excellent, excellent chips. Yeah, not a spicy product. P levels was zero on that. There's zero, zero spice, zero. Don't let the flames on the chip on the front of the bag deceive you. It's not hot. It's really, really good though. All right. Now this next one. Oh, I think this is going to be hot. Now, I've had my eye on this for a while. This has been on this for some reason. Um, well, maybe it's because there's arbol chili in it. This has been in the um, the uh, Latin foods aisle at my local Safeway for a long time, but I haven't purchased it because it was like. 13 or 14 dollars but uh, happened to happened upon a sale on this item um, a couple days ago and decided to pick it up you know because I'm like you know 13 dollars I don't know about that that's a lot for a hot sauce I have to really 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 want to try it um, but yeah it was marked down it was like 25% off so I'm like yeah let's go for it it's been there forever let's go for it so this is garlic and arbol Moruga Scorpion Hot Sauce by Bravado Sauce Company. I have one other sauce by this uh, company. A uh, different label because it's from a couple years ago. This Ancho Masala uh, Reaper Scorpion Sauce is absolutely brutal. It is one of the most brutal non-extract sauces I've ever had. Alright. So, and it's ultra hot. It's their max heat rating. I don't know if like super hot is like the next to max heat rating. 
So I'm not going to be trying that in this one because, you know, I don't have any milk with me. But I will be doing a comparison video at some point. Alright. Yeah, and uh, I'll tell you, when I say that this is one of the most brutal non-extract sauces, I've had, like, the Rapture by, um, I can't remember, Torchbearer. I've had the Rapture by Torchbearer, which is very, very pepper mash heavy, supposedly a, a brutal sauce. And I've had the, uh, the Hellboy, um, the Hellboy sauce by Hearth Hellfire, which is also, claims to be 85% hot pepper mash. Claims to be the hottest, the most extreme non-extract sauce in existence, but I don't know. If my memory serves me right, this was hotter. But anyways, that's not what we're talking about today. Let's try this one. Smells, smells like scorpion peppers, and, you know, I've expressed this before, of the super hot peppers, scorpions are my least favorite, but I also really, really love garlicky sauces, so maybe the counterbalancing effect of the garlic against the, uh, I don't know what the word is, I always said, like, the only word that I can use to describe what I don't like about scorpion peppers is there's something plasticky or rubbery about it. So maybe the garlic garlickiness will counterbalance it. Because I've yet to try like a pure scorpion sauce that I truly love. I've tried a lot. Maybe this is the one. All right, let's go. Wow. Fiery, garlicky blend of scorpion peppers, our bowl chilies, and a hint of lime. Sorry, just had to briefly pause. I wasn't trying to cheat or anything. An explosive trinity of ultra hot peppers with a blend of delicious Indian spices and Texas flair. Tread lightly, this one's going to burn. It's got ancho chile, garam masala, maruga scorpion. Oh, this is a different bottle. I picked up. God, I'm stupid. I picked up this one and I was pissed at it. So I was in the middle of reading the label of this one. Mm. Fiery, garlicky blend of scorpion peppers, arbol chilies, and a hint of lime. This is a true ultra hot from deep in the heart of Texas. So it's got garlic, arbol chili, maruga scorpion, and lime in it. I love it. It's an absolutely delicious sauce and it is really hot. It's not like... It's probably a peak now, so it's probably like between a five and a six. It's pretty hot. Like, it's not like, you know, panic-inducing hot, but it's got really good heat to it, and it tastes really good. And I'm prepared to say that this is the best scorpion sauce that I've ever had. So it's got distilled vinegar, scorpion pepper puree, chili de arbol pepper, garlic, lime juice, cumin, and black pepper. Not a long list of ingredients, but every single thing in there is something that I like. I love Arbol chilies. I love scorpion pepper. I love cumin and black pepper and lime juice. All of those are excellent additives to hot sauces. This is a really, really damn good hot sauce. Flavor, I'm going to give it an 8. So uh, I'm really impressed with that. Um, so coming up is uh, the comparison. I'm pretty sure this is going to win in terms of heat. Um, yeah, because this is a lot more pepper forward than this sauce. You know, the first ingredient in this is vinegar. First ingredients in this are uh, hot pepper mashes, and there's reaper mash, uh, scorpion mash, and goat pepper mash in it. So uh, this is probably, I mean, it's pretty obvious that this is going to be more extreme than this one. But um, yeah, this is a nice sauce. If you're like looking to build yourself up to really, really hot sauces, you should get this. This is kind of like your midway point. This is where you're getting up to something as like extreme as like Dave's scorpion sauce, or I'm sorry, uh, Dave's reaper sauce or something like that. Uh, this is a nice like step on that ladder up to that. Really good sauce. So yeah, well, that's all I've got for today. Two great products, get them both.